OK, so what we're asked to do in this case is to find the missing lengths. Now, find the missing, all the find missing parts of the triangle. So we have missing lengths at A and B. All right? Um, now, good. Okay. now, we can go ahead and solve for B by using our law of sines. And what law of sines, basically we can use uh, law of sines whenever we have um, a, basically a ratio, a angle and its um, opposing side length. And just notice how the opposing side lengths are like the same variable, right? A across from A, B across from B, C across from C. So I can rewrite this as 46 over the sine of 102 degrees is equal to, let's figure out B over the sine of 24 degrees. Now, I would prefer to stay away from the words of cross multiply. I do not like cross multiply. We don't need to cross multiply. Guys, if you're trying to solve for b and you're dividing by sine of 24, all we have to do to undo dividing by sine of 24 is to multiply, multiply by sine of 24. You don't need to cross multiply. Just multiply by the sine of 24 degrees on both sides. So. B equals, now we just type that into our calculator. Where'd my calculator go? So into your calculator, you're just going to type in the sine of 24 degree, 24, and the parentheses, times 46, and then divide that by sine of 102. You don't really have to end the parentheses, but I really prefer that whenever you're typing that in, you just end the parentheses by using the um, parentheses there. And you guys should get 19.128 as we round to the nearest thousandth. <laughs> as I round to the nearest thousandth. Yep. Then divide by sine of 102. Is everybody okay? If you're not, let me come and see me, and I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. Okay? Yes? Question? Okay. So now we need to figure out a and little a. Yes? No, it's a length. It's a length. And if there was units, then you have to put feet. If it was meters, you know. But there's no unit, so it's just a length of a triangle in units. Okay? Um, but now we have an issue. If we need to figure out A, we don't have the side or we don't have the angle. But there's something from geometry we remember from how to find the angle. Yes, kind of remember? All add up to your angles, add up to 180. So you can say A is equal to 180 degrees minus 24 degrees minus 102 degrees. So therefore, A equals 26. 26, so that's going to be 26, so that's going to be 54. So now, now typically what I would recommend, guys, do we notice, you guys understood that we, uh, we rounded this answer, right? You guys agree we rounded this? Okay. I don't want to use a rounded answer. We always want to use exact answers. So as I'm going to use the law of signs again to solve for A, I'm going to use, again, my ratio of C over C. I do not want to use B because I rounded that answer. So again, I'll do 46 over the sine of 102 degrees, which is C over sine of C, is equal to A over the sine of 54 degrees. And then, if you guys understand the math again correctly, A equals sine, or you could write it like this, 46 times the sine of 54 degrees. doesn't really matter what order you multiply them in divided by the sine of 102 degrees. So why don't we type that into our calculator? Because again, I'm just doing the same solving technique, but I'm just kind of skipping steps. So I'll do 46 times the sine of 54, and my parentheses, divided by the sine of 102, and I get 36.46. Yep, yes. 
So basically what I did is I multiplied by sine of 54 on both sides, like I did up here. I'm just not showing my work again. Oh, okay. So I multiplied by sine of 54 on both sides. So really, it's sine of 54 times 46. But can we just write 46 times sine of 54 instead of sine of 54 times, like, same thing. Is 3 times 2 the same as 2 times 3? Yes. So that's why I just rewrote it like that. Yeah, that's what I got. What I say? I'm sorry, I got 38. Okay. Everybody got it? Yes, question. 